Can we count on you to help us as we try to bring peace to this world? Rest easy. I'm a mercenary. When I take a job, I make sure it's done. I still don't feel strong enough. Ike, would you mind a hands-on lesson? I'm not much of a teacher, but I'll try. Be ready, though. I don't know how to hold back. You've gotten better. Your form's improved a lot compared to the way it was. I owe it to all the lessons I've soaked up from you and the others. No, it was mostly you. All we did was give you a push. Thank you all the same. You've all made me feel like I have a chance to bring peace to the world. A strange feeling. Fighting together with a former enemy. Yesterday's enemy is today's friend. It happens a lot more than you'd think. I am disgusted at my own incompetence. I hold no value save as a combatant in this war. If that's how you feel, then try to learn skills valuable outside of war. This is the time for it. A smile has returned to Lady Vale's face. Soon, my duty will come to an end. You believe you've been by her side because it's your duty? No. You chose to stand there. You need Vale as much as she needs you. Shouldn't you see this through to the end? Agreed. Begrudgingly. If I can find forgiveness, I will stand by her side until my life is done. Ike, do you think you could ever be my friend? Why do you ask that? Aren't we allies already? Have you gotten used to living here yet, Vale? Yes. It's such a nice place. And when I'm here, I don't feel like I'm all alone. What's wrong, Vale? You look like you're not feeling so good. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm just really worried I'll wake up in a strange place again. Well, that's not happening. If I catch you sleepwalking, I'll stop you, okay? That's... not exactly it. But thank you, Ike. I think I'll sleep better tonight. You sizing me up or something? No need to put your guard up. I just thought we might be alike. So your father's the one who taught you to handle a sword. Best gift he ever gave me. A true master of his techniques would be near unstoppable. You're always looking to be the strongest. What's behind that, I wonder? Nothing but the obvious. I want to see how far I can go. You're the same way, aren't you, Saphir? <laughs> Suppose I am. I like you, Ike. I feel like we understand each other. What was that noise? Are we under attack? Hmm? Oh, the thunder spell just now. That was me doing a little cooking. Magic has many subtleties. The more you learn, the more uses you can find for it. People come up with new sword techniques all the time, too. It's never a dull moment. Why is mankind doomed to make mistake after mistake? I hear you, but people aren't perfect. Mistakes are how we learn. I see your point. 
If only what we learned was always for good. That's where you and me come in. Me with my sword, and you with your pen. Hello, Ike. I'm sorry if you find my charisma totally overwhelming. Please tell me this isn't how everyone in your kingdom talks. I hope you don't mind sparring with someone as devastatingly charming as me, Ike. Sparring? Like with weapons? Not sure I get how charm figures into that, but I don't mind. It must be difficult for you to spend so much time around me and not develop... feelings. I don't know what to say to that. You have earned my trust, though, Gold Mary. I guess trust is a feeling. I knew it. I'm so glad. Thank you. I had my eye on you in that last battle, Rosado. You're a skilled fighter. You watched me all that time, and your only comment is about my fighting? Know what I admire about you, Ike? You're the same way with everyone. You never pretend. Nice way to say I've got no manners. I was never any good at that sort of thing. How is it so easy for you to just treat everyone the same? What's your secret? I've seen how some raise themselves high, while others get swept aside. It's nonsense. Those who think they're better than others and want other races in their place. You're totally right. I wish everyone could see the world that way. Ike, you should not go outside today. Your fortune, it doesn't look good. So you're a dancer and a fortune teller? Those are some good skills to have. I noticed you've been watching me dance. I'm a bit surprised. Have you taken a liking to it? I guess I have. It's beautiful, and I appreciate the years of discipline it takes to move like that. Your desire to improve yourself is impressive. You are already strong, yet try to be stronger. That's nice to hear but I still have a long way to go before I reach my goal. What I want is to be stronger than my father, my late father, but I'm still not there. Ah, I understand. I very much hope one day to surpass my late master's dancing skills as well. What lovely weather we're having today. If only I could remain here and gaze at the skies. Sounds nice. Too bad every day can't be like this. Tell me, Ike. What do you think of enforcing peace through battle? I think there are some people who want to fight. I don't feel bad giving it to them. More training today, Princess? You're pretty committed. There are times when bloodshed is necessary to protect one's people. When those times come, I cannot stand by and leave this dirty business to our soldiers. A princess on the front line, huh? You're not the first I've known. Your subjects must love you. So, you're the emblem from Solm's Ring, huh? Gotta say, those are some world-class muscles. World-class? That's the first time I've heard that one. Say, uh, can you teach me how to get muscles like those? There's not much to teach. Train every day and eat meat. 
I don't know that it helps, but I like it. Feels like I bulked up a ton after all the fights we've been through. What do you think? If you did, I haven't noticed. Sorry. No, don't apologize. I really like your bluntness. Well, my friends keep telling me I should be more considerate. Glad it's not a problem. You have such spirit, Ike. You're a true hero. Would you be willing to train me in combat? I usually train alone. I might not be the best teacher, but I'll do what I can. They say that a good smile is contagious, you know. You should try smiling more often. Okay, I'll try that sometime. I enjoy your company, Ike. You must let me treat you to something. What would you like? Nothing particular comes to mind. It can be anything. The sky is the limit. In that case, I suppose you could help me practice smiling. Because of your work guarding the ring, I was summoned safely. You have my sincere thanks. Forget the formalities. You spent all that time hanging out at the castle. You're like family. Something smells good. I'm grilling up some meat. Oh, uh, I hope you enjoy the smells, even if you can't eat it. Say, Ike, what sort of stuff does a band of mercenaries get up to usually? All kinds. Stopping bandits, saving villages. A queen once asked us to defeat some invaders. I love it! Sounds like you were a band of heroes, more like. I don't know about that. We just couldn't stand to walk away when people were in trouble. I'm sure you and I will get on just fine, Sir Ike. We meat connoisseurs have to stick together. Right. Well, I'm glad to be working with you too, Marin. I'd like to learn a new fighting move that looks cool. What would you recommend, Sir Ike? I prefer practical moves to cool moves. Though, come to think of it, either is pretty cool. Once peace is restored, I plan to go around the world, checking out every rare critter there is. What'll you do with these rare critters when you find them? Are you gonna eat them? Not on your life. Laying eyes upon them? That's my dream. Would you care to join me, Sir Ike? So you're pursuing a dream, are you? All right. I'd be up for that. Greetings and salutations, Ike. I say, you look quite splendid this very day. You have a unique way of talking. I wonder where you picked that up from. I hear you were in the service of a royal family. I imagine they were quite strict about etiquette. My friends told me I misstep sometimes, but I never noticed any problems. Alas, I have committed yet another blunder. I must endeavor to refine my technique in battle. I don't know what the problem is. It's not like Tamara said anything to you, right? I am the princess's retainer. A poor performance by me reflects poorly on her. I won't have that. Ah, uh, sorry for being such an oaf. She must be really important to you. Gotta say, it's strange to think someone as serious as you spent all that time in our castle. 
Huh. Wasn't strange to me. I used to travel with these mercenaries. It felt a lot like that. You know, in general, you are as cool as they get. But in battle, you are extra cool. I'm not any kind of expert on cool, but if I had to guess, I'd wager you're the real king of cool. We've met so many new people, and yet we've gone so long without a party. Boring, right? This isn't a time for parties. Once there's peace, then you can throw your parties or whatever. My parties? Please, you are not getting out of this. You will be getting a raging welcome party. Better serve some amazing meat dishes then. I can't eat them, but I'll enjoy smelling them. Lord Ike! Did you come to pray? Why don't you join me? The more the merrier. I just came to listen, but uh... I guess a prayer every once in a while can't hurt. So, churches in this world are pretty over the top, huh? Oh, well, I just remodeled this one to be super snazzy. <laughs> Too bad they can't all be like this. Lord Ike, what's up with folks always wanting to go to war? Me, I'm wishing hard for peace. Everyone has their own reason. And the truth is, wishing for peace won't make it a reality. Look at us. We're at war to restore peace, right? But don't worry. I'll be with you the whole way. Those are some wise words, Lord Ike. I, for one, am ready to follow wherever you lead. Ike, your strength is like a fine cut of meat. I just wish I could eat it to absorb your qualities. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a joke. Ike, I'm quite curious. What type of food do you most enjoy? Well, I'm an emblem, so no food for me. But in my world, I was all about those meat dishes. Uh-oh. That look on your face means something's up. What's going on, Bunei? I am attempting to create a meat dish that will satisfy you. But I fear it is... challenging. Bunei, like I told you before, I'm an emblem. Emblems can't eat. That's why I'm creating a dish that doesn't have to be eaten to be satisfying, especially for you. You don't seem too comfortable around me. Was it something I said? It's not that. Rather, as with those from Solm, I don't quite know how to speak to you. Stop me if I'm out of line, but you seem to be taking too much responsibility on yourself. You're quite direct, aren't you? It's oddly comforting, I must admit. Tell me, as the leader of a mercenary company, how did you handle issues of trust? Once I trust folks, I don't question their motives. Even if they lie to me, I figure there's a reason. I will remember that. Should you ever deceive me, I do not think I'd mind. Likewise, Ivy. I trust you. You keep busy, don't you? Indeed. My various pursuits provide me with a sense of purpose. Another child fled from the sight of me today. I've dealt with a few such reactions myself. How about you try being a bit more friendly?
You are from another world, are you not, Ike? What did you do for your livelihood there? I ran a mercenary company. Our jobs took us all over the continent. How fascinating. Boredom must have been the least of your concerns. Yeah, we had a lot of tough scrapes. Way too much danger to get bored. I studied you in our last battle, Ike. Your sword technique is unusual, but it has great power. Thanks. My father taught me everything I know. Ike! I have not seen you since our last battle. Where have you been, my dear friend? Dear friend, huh? Guess there are worse things you could call me. You commanded many mercenaries, yes? They must have been very strong. Yeah, we had a mage who could command the winds, a sniper with godlike aim. Strong folks. If you are saying it, then they must have been. Will you tell me about all of your fighters? Sure. I'll start with an advisor I had. One of the toughest people I've ever known. The rumors of a powerful emblem in Solm were no joke. You're impressive on the battlefield. Thanks, but I'm just another soldier. I've had a bit more training than others, that's all. You use some impressive sword techniques, Ike. Would you be willing to teach me? I learned them from my father. I can teach them to you, but they'll be hard to master. Improving my kingdom, surpassing my father as king. I'm not sure I can actually do all of that. Don't worry about can or can't. You just have to do it. That's what dedicated training is for, right? To make sure you reach your goals? That's exactly right. <laughs> I like talking to you, Ike. Now there's a kid running around selling stuff? Not stuff, but the finest of wares. Take a good look and maybe you'll see something you like. Got a minute, Anna? I might be in the market for something. Hey, it's not Anna, it's Lady Anna between friends. Call me Lady or keep your mouth shut. I found a pretty gem and I'm thinking of having a festival to celebrate it. Are you in? Sorry, you're having a festival to celebrate what exactly? Ike, I need people to put this thing together. If you don't help, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'll do whatever you need, just, just don't cry. I feel at ease around you, Sir Ike. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess we both prefer to skip idle chatter. Except for right now, that is. You look a bit angry, Jade. Is everything okay? I'm fine. I'm just smiling. Is it that hard to tell? Sir Ike, have you ever known anyone with a quirky personality? I need new character ideas. Quirky? Let me think. I fought alongside a gambler once. He was always drowning in debt. Interesting. Did that ever cause any problems, having a gambling addict join your ranks? It did, but even our most troublesome allies proved worthy of defending over time. Wow, and I thought you looked strong from far off. Up close, I'm even more impressed. How are you so light on your feet? I didn't even hear you walk up.
Now that I think of it, I used to work with an assassin who had quiet steps like yours. Uh, why are you talking about assassins all of a sudden? I just have quiet feet, that's all. You know, Ike, I'm surprised you haven't just come out and asked me about my past. You obviously don't want to talk about it. I figure you'll tell me when you're ready. What if I'm never ready? That's fine. What matters to me is the person you are now. I'm Amber, the Alpaca Wrangling Master. I'm a hero like you. We're gonna make a great team. I'm no hero, but I do look forward to fighting alongside you, the uh, Alpaca Master? Say, Amber, how does alpaca meat taste? Is it any good? What? Alpacas aren't food. They're only for cuddling and being best friends. I heard a legend about a golden fleeced alpaca. Let's go find it, Ike. Okay, but where? Do you have any clues we could start with? Alpacas live on mountains. If we search every mountain, top to bottom, we'll find it for sure. Oh, so it's going to be a long trip. Do you have a minute to talk, Alchrist? Wow, you remembered my name. Thank you for giving me such a high compliment, Lord Ike. You really helped me in that last battle, Alchrist. Thank you. Uh, no need to thank me. It would be unforgivable for a waste like me to not fully protect you. Your skills are impressive, but you have no confidence to match. I'm confused. I apologize, Lord Ike. If you compare me to my stronger brother, it may become clear. I had a similar problem looking up to my father. You are strong, Alchrist. Try to remember that. Thank you, Ike. I'm not sure why, but you make me think that's actually possible. I'm a bit nervous saying this out loud, but Ike, thank you for saving me earlier. You don't have to thank me. You're really strong. I'm not sure you actually needed it. I need an icebreaker. So, have you ever had bear meat? It's pretty tasty. Or, so I've heard. Yeah, bear meat tastes great. We were hired to hunt them often, so I used to eat a lot of it. I can't believe we both hunted bears before. In every other way, we're still so different. I wish I had even a shred of your confidence. I get so worried about losing in battle. I'm not that confident, really. I just act before I overthink anything. Don't worry, Lapis. Just trust your instincts out there. If you stumble, I'll be right beside you. Sorry, but I can't actually hold a pen. Lord Ike, I've just gotta ask, what was life like inside that ring? I can't say for sure. I think I was asleep mostly, but I feel like I dreamed about past battles. you so much? I like it, actually. It reminds me of when I used to hang out with a band of mercenaries. Whew. I was worried. It's just, you hardly ever smile, you know? <laughs> it's 
Sorry to worry you. My friends used to tell me my social skills needed some work. Hmm. I didn't notice in battle, but emblems are pretty big up close. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. You must be some kid to be a doctor already. My age won't matter to a patient. I want to be a great doctor, and there's no time to waste. How come you're always paying so much attention to me, Ike? I just respect anyone who can treat wounds. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Oh, it's no bother. I just get a little self-conscious about it, that's all. You know what it is? My little sis was a healer. I guess you remind me of her a bit. What can I do? I do not like sitting idle. If there is a battle, I will let you know. Until such a time, you should relax. Did I just see you smile? You needn't be surprised. I have been known to smile from time to time. The way you're built, you must have been quite the fighter in your day. I have trained hard to stay in shape during my years of service to Queen Lumera, and I'll be long retired before I begin lagging behind you youngsters. I'm not a youngster. Oh, wait. I understand. Still, if we get the chance, I'd like to spar. As a servant of the Divine Dragon, are you okay with fighting beside me instead? There's no concern. Serving with you is a high honor indeed, Lord Ike. Lord Ike, are you going off to train now? I've been training since I was a kid. It's a habit, and if I don't do it, I just can't relax. Say, Lord Ike, would it be okay with you if I came along to today's training session? Feel free, but can you keep up physically? I don't want to hurt you. Of course. I want to get stronger so I can help everyone who needs me. All right then. Let's see if you can keep up until the end. You're small, but you got some muscle on you. Thanks for noticing. All that intense training day in and day out must be paying off. for you, Ike. What kind of supplements do you use to get such muscle definition? I don't know what those are. I eat meat. I don't know if that matters, but there you go. You know, if everyone in the world just trained more, there'd be no more war. How does that work? I feel great after a good exercise. If everyone felt like that all the time, what's left to fight over? I'm not sure that makes sense. But if everyone thought it did, maybe it could work. You look pretty stern there. Brushing up on your tactics? No, I'm reading the tale of a knight. It's pretty inspiring stuff. Isn't that the same book I saw you reading last time? Don't you get tired of it? Nah, it's a classic for a reason. If you're interested, I could read it to you. You seemed lost earlier. What's your plan if we have to fight in a forest? Eh, that's no problem. I'll just follow my friends. Although, if I lose track of them too... Hmm... 
Guess I'll just deal with it when it happens. And if we get surrounded, maybe you'd better stick close to me. Out of curiosity, Ike, does it move you to see a group socializing in harmony? Huh? I like it when people get along, if that's what you mean. Now, who should I pair you with were I to plan a social engagement? Perhaps Prince Alfred? Yeah, he's an interesting one. I wouldn't mind going head to head with him. I suppose not everything in this world can go entirely to plan. Problems, Louis? I tried my utmost to keep my people watching discreet. But my friends spotted me regardless. That sounds weird. But if you care about being discreet, I can tell you about a spy I once knew. A big, strong hero coming out of a ring to lend his aid? It's the perfect start to a fairy tale! Maybe if it was some prince or something. I'm no fairy tale hero. What's with the food you're always eating? I just like folk foods. It's too bad I can't share any with you. I hope you're not working too hard just because so many people are counting on you, Ike. I appreciate the concern, but I wouldn't worry. I seek out the tough foes because I like to. Guess that might seem odd to folks, though. If you say so. But just so you know, if you ever feel overwhelmed, you can always tell me. You're a handsome fellow, Ike. Being seen with you can only make me look good. Not sure I see how, but thanks, I think. You haven't seen anyone around here more adorable than me, have you? I'm not a great judge of that sort of thing. Your work ethic's impressive, though. When all this is over, I hope we can rebuild Illusia. It won't ever be exactly like it was. But the sooner we bring peace to the world, the sooner we can get a fresh start. Know what? You're right. I'm gonna give it everything I got, Ike. You'll see.